for skydiving, there's two things you don't do the night before. Number one, do not go online and look for the statistics of people who died. <laughs> but that's what I did at 1.30 on our day of our jump. In business, I'm known as the fearless negotiator. Fearless? No, that's not the way you say it. It's fearless. I was 20 something. I am woman, hear me roar was the biggest song back then. And I wanted to show all of my friends that I was the toughest gal in town. I would have the courage to jump out of an airplane. And we went out for skydiving class. And as the day went on, I began to realize I was gonna pull my own ripcord from 3,500 feet. It was at 35,000 feet. <laughs> and it rained. The next weekend, we were ready. We were going. What happened? It rained. <laughs> the third weekend, it rained. I said, God doesn't want me to jump. And that gave me the excuse that I used for 40 years. The core message for me is to walk through your fears. Whether it's the fear of negotiation, because you might get rejected, you might hear no, or is it you set a goal for yourself, a dream, and it doesn't come through just the way you thought it would. What you planned isn't exactly the outcome that you get. I say, if you never went out the door, you'd never have a chance to have any of it. And so, I, over the last two years, have begun to face some of those dreams and to walk through fears. So one day I so proudly showed up at a luncheon and I said, I have a bucket list and I'm going skydiving. Who's in? And my friend Nancy said, yes, let's go next weekend. <laughs> oh no, oh no, no, no. No, we are not going next weekend because I haven't consulted Farmer's Almanac yet. <laughs> They'll tell me what the best day is. Another year and a month went by and Nancy kept saying, time's a passing, Mary, let's go. That's what you need in life as an accountability partner. Nancy was all excited and gung-ho, and I found a thousand reasons and excuses and delays why I again would not walk through that fear that I'd held for 40 years. That's the value of walking through something with a partner. Partner in marriage, partner in heaven, partner in life, partner at work, wherever you are, you need a colleague, partner, friend to take the journey with you. Nancy's husband had said, I am not watching this. I am not going. I love you dearly, but I cannot stand the thought of having you go. And maybe dying. Not my husband, Dwayne. Oh no, he's right here. Mm -hmm. He said, if you're going to die, I want pictures. <laughs> because you, your brother, the insurance agent, is going to want proof. <laughs> It starts with such teeny, tiny baby steps to begin your journey. I support people in their dreams to walk through the fears, to give them just that little push. I walk through my biggest fear. What is your biggest fear? What is your biggest fear today? I would say this is the time to step forward, to jump and grab your dream. Absolutely amazing. Be fearless and negotiator. Mary Lynn.